Coach, I'm going to need a lot of help today because we're going to be rebuilding the 52 and 110 Baltimore Orioles. A team that once again has first overall in the MLB draft and tied last year with the Diamondbacks for the worst record in all of baseball. And their team really didn't look all that terrible. Like, it's still not great, but it didn't look all that bad compared to a lot of other teams that we've seen so far. They had Cedric Mullins completely go crazy last year. They had Austin Hayes again. We'll see how he goes. They had John Means and pretty much nobody else in that entire pitching staff, but still. They had Ryan Mountcastle. They had Trey Mancini come back, which was a amazing last year. They're going to have a full season of Jorge Mateo in 2022. They got Ruben Odor for this year. They got an absolute farm coming up pretty soon with Adley Rutschman and Grayson Rodriguez. So realistically, I know it does sound weird, but they're really not that far away. John Means is at least one bright spot in that entire rotation. I mean, it does kind of go down to a double A starting pitching staff afterwards, but still. Once Grayson Rodriguez gets up there, maybe once they spend a little bit of money, possibly, maybe DL Hall is going to be good as well. You never really know. For the outfield, it does look okay for now. The infield, I will say, is probably going to be one of the biggest problems, but we do got people like Gunnar Henderson coming up here pretty soon. We got Kobe Mayo, who's amazing. They got Adam Hall for second base. So there are pieces there. They just need a little bit more time. That's what I'm saying. They're really not that far away from being somewhat okay. But pitching is by far going to be the biggest thing. I mean, again, you got Jordan Lyles as your number two. The dude with a career 5.2 ERA, not to mention last year in Texas of all teams, post up 180 innings of 5.15 ERA baseball. Like their pitching staff. I'm going to need Grace Rodriguez to literally carry this thing, hopefully. But from my experience in this game, he doesn't do all that great so that makes this thing even harder for me so this one is of course gonna be difficult but i think with coach's help we're gonna be okay we are in a complete hot streak by the way with the rebuild so i cannot let this be the one that gets away we've done the a's we've done the tigers we've done the pirates all of them have been bangers let's make sure we don't fumble the bag on this one i'll see you guys at the draft let's go ahead and get straight into this thing here we are 2022 first year player draft and the only reason why i'm drafting right now is because we do got first overall i mean it would be pretty dumb if i don't do it because i'm still in the hunt for my first 99 of the year and this would be by far the best time to get it i mean literally Literally, there's so much here and this is the only time that drafting really is that good when you're first overall in the first season it's fantastic after that it gets very very mid very very quickly so i gotta make a good pick i cannot choke this or i'm never gonna live this down let me see what i got here real quick first off we got a catcher ready by 2023 looks like a complete beast oh my god but i can't really draft a catcher because we got a freaking stud named adley rutschman so i'm not gonna do this even though the dude looks like he could take anybody's lunch money after that we got antone i respect the mustache at 22 from delaware at 65 overall still looking amazing Amazing. Yo, for real. What the heck? We also got Michael Lazan, though, baby. Oh, from Mass. Has five pitches. Max is out at 93. So this really is like a John Means type of dude. If we get this dude, we'd be rocking two John Means and Grayson Rodriguez. Is that a realistic thing? If that is, I might have to take a look. After that, we got Stefan. The dude's throwing gas at 89. Dude, what is with this? Everybody's throwing absolute heat. And then we got Julio. Okay, actual heat. 96. He also looks good for the ETA's 2025. He'll probably be a B. Dominic Canary does 94. Probably going to be like a 91, 92. Honestly, screw it. It's between Antone and my boy Lazano. I think we got to take the Italian Stallion. All right, let's go, Michael. Come on, baby. Do not make me regret this. Oh, God. What else do we got here? Julio Lopez is still rocking right now. Okay, I'll take him. 100%. Nobody took him, even in the comp rounds. Are you kidding me? What? I mean, I'm freaking down, but I cannot believe that's real. What else do we even got? We got Max Stone. We got Sean Carter. Low. I'm just gonna pull an Angels and draft nothing but pitchers. Like, if it's what we need, I'm just gonna do it. Say, screw it. Let's go, Giancarlo. Hopefully, we hit it with a scouting accuracy. Again, if we do, it's gonna be amazing. If not, we will still be fine. And hello, Logan Woodson. The K's look terrible, but everything else, if this hits, it's gonna be disgusting. So, give me him, too. All right, that's it. We're chilling, baby. As of right now, past June 2nd, we are 27 and 31. I'm telling you guys, not as terrible as a lot of people are saying. Obviously, I'm not saying we don't got room to go, but with people like Cedric Mullins on this team doing that, with Trey Mancini being all the way back, this is so wholesome. I'm so happy about this. With Austin Hayes proving that he doesn't suck, things are really looking up. I'm loving it. And come on, coach, please tell me I got my first 99 right here. I'd be down if it was with the Orioles. We already know that Lazano is going to be an A potential, but please let me see that 99. Come on. Three, two, one, and 94. Come on, dude. And Julio at a 71. That's some cap. That is some absolute cap. You're telling me at 19, the guy's at 71 overall, that he's only going to stay at a 71 overall. I will put him on the MLB roster next year, and I can guarantee you that he's not going to be like that. Yo, we got screwed, bro. What? Hey. All right, give me all the guys that I drafted. I can promise you guys they're going to be a lot better than what this game's showing. That's some garbage. Let's keep this thing going in All-Star Weekend, and let's see how the heck we're doing. Here we are, All-Star Weekend, and we have taken a little bit of a step back. We are about 40 and 60, but it is a normal thing for the 2022 Orioles. Right now, we got Jorge Mateo. This dude's let me down. I was really hoping for a big year out of him. Seti's still killing it. Ryan Mountcastle. I need the average to go up, my boy. And Cini's still doing good as well. Anthony, not so much. 
Austin Hayes, wow, he's cooled off. So the bets really just have cooled off quite a bit. Okay, good to know. And the pitching, I'm sure, is just carrying this entire squad, you know? John Means, amazing as always, a six and nine. That's what I'm talking about. Jordan Lyles, though, this is gonna be the big one. And a 3.8, oh my God, he's having a miracle season. Zimmerman, what about you? There we go, that's more like it. Dean. There we go. And then Keegan. Oh my God. Also, freaking DL Hall, a seven year rate of almost 100 innings. What happened, bro? Kyle Brady, the exact same thing. Dylan Tate, everybody else. Oh my God, look at these two. Dylan Tate and Paul Fry, plus Tyler killing it as well. Okay. I'm getting two guys for the bullpen and at least one guy in the rotation. Okay. That's going to be my goal. Let me see what type of crap I'm actually able to finesse out of these teams. And oh my God, it worked. Okay. So for Kyle, Anthony, and Daryl, we're getting Frankie and Max Muncy from the Athletics. Frankie right now, not doing good whatsoever, but I feel like we're going to be able to rebuild him up. And then Max Muncy, I got to get the dude just because of how much crazy potential this guy actually has. I will say we're probably not going to use him, but for trades and everything like that, the dude is gross. Literally so much trade value in the second year, third year as well. We're getting a lot here, not to mention another potential ace on the entire team. So there we are, Frankie. Let's hope that we can actually get you back. Let me go to training real quick just to see what the heck you are training. And he's actually with the pitching coach. All right, that's perfect. That's all we're going to need from Frankie and hopefully he can do a lot better because a five-year array really is not like the 2021 Frankie. So let's see what that happens with him. Grace Rodriguez down in double a we could probably move him up real quick to triple a and then my last question is adley rutschman he's an 82 overall right now at 24 years old the guy seems ready let's see how he's doing and a 230 really expected a little bit better than that but you know what screw it we'll still bring him up the guy still got a two war a 997 on the fielding yeah he's good enough let's go to make room we got to get rid of robinson chirinos might as well try to flip him for a bullpen piece and then after that we're pretty much good for a 2022 oh there he is give him to me give him to me give him to me there we go baby tony goslin robinson jd and jamai jones Again, Jamal Jones is technically on the MLB team, but he is doing so god awful that I got to get rid of him. So Dodgers, if you guys want to crack at trying to bring him back into reality, I'm fine with that, but good luck. Now we're looking a little bit better. Let's go ahead and keep this thing going. Actually, real quick, before we go all the way to the end of the year, we got contract extensions that I got to go ahead and get done. We got John Means up first. I'm committing. We got to get this guy's money backloaded six years, $60 million, and there we go. Next up, SETI. Again, got to do it. Lifeblood the team right now. Is it going to be expensive? Probably. On an eight-year deal, though, it's going to look a lot better. Let's try eight years 130 back loaded and there we go perfect the last guy we're going for is Adley Rutschman out of seven games and 27 at bats look at how good the guy's doing that's why we brought him up right there I could care less about the minor leagues we know the guy's going to be good so I'm extending this guy long term let's try to lock this guy up for seven years and 36 million if we get him fire his agent immediately okay thank god we should be able to get him at 40 though and there we are. Perfect. Okay. Besides Rugnet, that is the only other guy we're gonna go ahead and get. And now we are good. Four million? Okay, guess not. Hold on. Let's go two years front loaded and a club option. What about that? What do I gotta do for that? 9.6? Still no. What about 10? Even 10. Beautiful. All right, perfect. Also, Trey Mancini. I keep forgetting all these guys are going to be free agents. All right, hold on. Got to get him back for two as well. There we are. Beautiful. Now we're good. I will see you guys at the end of the year. Hopefully, we do not suck completely. In 2022, we still finish off terrible. 59 and 103. But we laid a lot of good groundwork, and we got gold glove winners going to Jorge Mateo and Asa Hayes. But we really did do everything we needed as Jameson Tyon just steals it. Show headed 2.5 and 240, and Jameson comes in and goes, yo, is that yours? Nah, that's some straight cheeks. Also, Robbie Ray's on the Rays. I hate everything. Oh, no. But either way, in the lineup, we got Urias. Not terrible. I might keep this guy's a bench, dude. Mario Mateo, you got it. Go. Seti, amazing. Ryan Mountcastle, very solid as well. Trey Mancini, one of my favorites. Adley, cooled down quite a bit. Anthony Santander, oh my god. Austin Hayes could not see the ball with a 217. I mean, a blind squirrel finds a nut sometimes, and apparently he found it 26 times for the home runs. But bro, a 217? Really? This guy cannot hit right-handers at all. Also, a plus 10 on the power. What the heck? And the Rugnid was okay. I want to see Frankie, though. I want to see if he made a comeback. And he did quite a bit. Okay. Definitely still not as dominant as 2021, but I think as we continue to build around him, he's going to get better and better. Who the heck is taking this World Series? Let's take a look real quick. It's going to be the Dodgers beating the Astros. Oh my God. They always have that happening in 2022, I swear. All right, free agency time. We took a lot of the exclusives off the market in the middle of the season. Now, we just got Jordan Lyles and Chris Owens. Let's get Jordan Lyles back for another season just because screw it, you know? Why not? I'm still not expecting a wild card next year, so let's just go ahead and get him just to eat some innings. After that, let's see what else we can pay for. Oh, wow. Okay. 569 seconds later. All right, for the free agency, we got quite a few guys possibly coming over here. I'm not going to lie. I went a little hard. We got Tim Anderson. If we can get him, oh my God. Tim Anderson in Baltimore would be absolutely beautiful. He would actually kill it. If the 
White Sox would not sign him back. Oh my God, Baltimore would be perfect. After that, we got Joe Musgrove possibly coming over here. I hope so, but you never know. I was going to go Sean Manet to bring back Frankie and Sean, but Sean Manet is asking for like 20 plus million. We can't realistically do that. So I'm going Joe Musgrove. After that, Brad Boxberger. I don't think I'm going to get him, but we still made an offer. For right field, Brandon Nimmo, a guy that really nobody ever talks about, but he's a stud. I would love to have him on this team. After that, Matt Whistler and then Jordan Lyles. All of this for under 50 million, I think it's a complete steal. Let's see if we get everybody. There we go. Joe Musgrove coming over already. Tim Anderson as well. Oh my God. That's all we needed right there. And then Seiya Suzuki for CJ Krona Randall going to the Rockies. If I knew that, I would have gone for him. Muncie going to the Red Sox. I already don't like that. Judge to the Angels. Why do they always just go straight for batters? They don't need any more. They got a good offense. Get some pitching. God dang. The Red Sox are also getting Kershaw. I hate Boston so much. Literally, what is that, bro? Come on. And a quick side note before we get into 2023, we got everybody that we wanted. So we're going to be looking real solid going into 2023. I cannot wait for it. Let's go ahead and get the opening day real quick. In 2023, we got all the draft prospects that we drafted last year ready to go. We got Julio first, the guy that got screwed over by the potential. So just to prove that the game's wrong, he's going to be our fifth starter. Either that or in the bullpen. No matter what, he's going to pitch for us and get above a 71, okay? After that, we got our boy Lozano ready to rock in AAA. Got Tommy Wilson, got Logan Woodson, feeling good about it. Besides that, we got some new guys over at second base. We got Josh Harrison and Jalen Miller. Second base is looking completely oversaturated, but honestly, I feel good about it. At third base, we pretty much got nobody, but I was going to go ahead and move over to Tim Anderson at third base. We got Arias still holding it down at shortstop. And left, we got Austin Hayes. And center, we got Cedric Mullins. And in right field, we got Brandon Nimmo. I feel like this will be a very, very good year for the Orioles. 14th in rank, 4th in contact, 15th in power, 20th in pitching. We got to bring that up a little bit, but still. We're not going to lose over 100. I can guarantee that this year. Oh my God, already off 8-3. to three. Please keep that same energy up the entire season, all right? I'll see you guys at the trade deadline. Let's go ahead and get to it. And I got one quick question. Where the heck are all the Baltimore haters now, baby? 62 and 46. Oh my God, we're putting the hood up. We're feeling it right now, baby. Coach, that's what I'm talking about. We did this, dude. Take a seat with everybody real quick. Look at us, 62 and 46. Oh my God. The top of the AL East in 2023 for the Baltimore Orioles. What the heck is that? Oh my God, coach, I got you. Dude, that is what I'm talking about for this team. We really weren't that far off. It's just spending money. That really is the answer. Spending money on good guys and also extending the dudes that are helping you right now. Again, extending Cedric Mullins was absolutely huge for us. Adding Tim Anderson to this team was not only great for the culture, but also for the team. Having the nutsack to trade for Frankie, even though we weren't even a contender at that point. Bringing up Adley, by the way, who's hitting 24 home runs in a 270. Let's go. Basically, just have the nuts to bring Baltimore back. That's pretty much all you need. Coach, I appreciate your help here. I'm going to put you back up there. Keep watching over the moves, all right? I really appreciate it. But yo, I am so, so proud of this team right now. I will say, I am still not content, though. We got Austin Hayes still not doing as good as he probably should do. We got Rugen Odor, by the way, who is... Not really doing as great as I would hope. Not to mention second base is pretty easy to upgrade, especially for this team. And then honestly, adding a fifth starter and we are ready to go, which is crazy. First up, who the heck is here on the block? We got Schwarby, we got McMahon, we got Nick. Oh my God, wait a minute. Nick Madrigal on this team would actually work so freaking well. Same with Glaber, to be honest. Hey, you know what? We're Siri. Screw it, why not? One for Nick Madrigal and two for Glaber Torres. Hey Siri, pick a random number between one and two. A random number between one and two is one. There we go. All right, Nick Madrigal, welcome to the team, my dude, if I can actually get you. It's not going to be easy, but I feel like we probably could. Actually, this is going to be a slam dunk. We could already do a one for one. That's actually freaking stupid, but I'm just going to go ahead and send over Jorge Mateo as well, mostly because I really just don't want him. The guys let me down in two separate years, which, bro, if you're going to do that, you're just not welcome back. We're going to go ahead and add Jake Odorizzi as the long reliever because this dude, for some reason, is killing it right now. Give me him 100%. I will take it. And there we go. Runa Odor, Jorge, and Jordan for Nick Madrigal and Jake Odorizzi. Rizzy, dude. Perfect. Now I think we're fine. We're going to go ahead and extend Frankie Montez. And after that, we are chilling, baby. Let's try our best to run this thing to the postseason this year. What the heck? My body's ready. Coach is ready. Let's get this thing going. All right, here we go. Big moment. The last week of the season. How we feeling? And there we go, baby. The 2023 AL East Championship is now going to Baltimore. That's what we do, baby. Taking on the Guardians and the ALDS. I am so ready. Awards. What do we got here? We got the Gold Glove going to Adley and Austin Hayes. A great freaking season from everybody. Also, Rookie of the Year coming in second place is Grayson. 13 and 7 with a 3.84. Not terrible for the boy. Especially when every single time that I've used him, he's been terrible. Julio at 79 overall. I'm telling you guys, he's not going to be that terrible. But I mean, come on. Adley Rutschman killed it. Oh my God. Mount Castle was amazing. Tim Anderson completely worth the money. We also won the AL East by seven games. And we're now the sixth overall team in the entire game. I'm telling you guys, I saw the potential in us. And it really is there in real life. They just need to actually feed them a little bit. But hey, let's go and get this thing started. We got Shane Bieber and the boys that we got to face.
face. Also, J-Ram on that team with a whole new extension. Got Steven Kwan, hopefully. Well, actually, I hope he's not gonna be on the team for me because he is disgusting. Is he on the team? Thank God he's not. Okay. If he was on the team, I'd get a little bit more nervous, but Paul Goldschmidt is there. Okay. We gotta try to beat them. They have a great pitching staff, too. Let's just pray that ours is gonna be better. John Means for Shane Bieber for game one. Won that one. One nothing. Holy. Frankie up next for Aaron Savali. Oh, baby. Let's go nine nothing. And then Joe Musgrove versus Cal. Oh, my God. A 3 0 swing from a team that I thought was gonna be fantastic. ALCS time coming to Baltimore versus Seattle. All right. For the first time in, I don't even know how many years. 22 at this point? I'm sorry, Seattle, but we gotta try to beat you. John Means, my boy, my king. I need you to destroy Logan Gilbert, okay? Please. Or we got destroyed. All right, fine. It's fine. Whatever. Who cares, bro? We're chilling, dude. I'm not freaking out. It's only the 2023 Orioles in the ALCS Championship. It's not like we're on a Cinderella story or anything. It's not like if we win this thing, we're going to be talked about in the history books forever. Frankie, my boy, bring it back for me, please. I lost it by one. Oh, no. Joe Musgrove, I need you versus Robbie Ray. This dude was on the Rays. What's going on? Oh, my God. Just like the Grim Reaper. He's freaking back. Joe Musgrove, come on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Jake Odorizzi, you're my last hope. Oh my God, we got swept. Oh, you guys better win. I swear to God, you better win. You better win. You better win. Don't you dare lose. And they lost. Oh my God. This is the freaking look of pain, dude. Oh my God. Are you actually kidding me, bro? <laughs> but hey, the story was still great with the Seattle Mariners. Two teams in the World Series this year that never have won a World Series championship in their entire history. So I guess the story was made for them. But bro, come on. I really wanted it to work so desperately. Who let me down here? I know it really did have to be in the offense because of how close the games were. Tim was very, very good, but only one RBI. Nick, a 138, bro. Teddy, a 172. Ryan, all right, that's fine. Arias, a 360, my boy. Adley, fine. Trey Mancini, oh, come on. Oh my, most of the guys that had no experience freaking choked it so hard. And also the whole reason why I got Nick Madrigal is because I thought the guy was gonna be perfect for contact in the postseason. Turns out I got scammed, bamboozled, just destroyed by the freaking Cubs. That really is just so freaking unfortunate. All right, off season time, let's go and get into 2024. All right, it's World Series or bust time. It is time to go. I know all the pieces that I'm personally adding to this team. I just need to make sure that they sign here. Whether that's opening up the checkbook a little bit more than I want to, whatever it is, I need them over here, okay? Let's go ahead and get it going, baby. Oh my God, if I didn't Evil laugh, I would use it right now. Jesse Winker coming over here, Kyle Hendricks, Drew Pomerantz, and Tommy LaStella. Let's hope that we get all of them, especially Jesse Winker. If we do, we are set to go. Come on, baby, at least show me Jesse. There we go. All right, we're good. I'll see you guys in 2024. All right, 2024 coming in right now. We are fourth overall, first in contact, 15th in power. I feel like now we're gonna be just a little bit better and then seventh in pitching. Again, the only thing that I feel like the team possibly would need is maybe one more bullpen piece. But I mean, overall, God damn. Dang, I think we are ready to take this thing. I really do feel good and confident. Let's see how 2024 treats us. All right, here we are right now at the trade line. We got to do just a tiny, tiny bit of house cleaning. First off, our boy Austin Hayes. I do like the guy, but I do not feel like we win a World Series with him. So I'm going to do my best right here to try to get Kyle Schwarber over from the Phillies. I got that realistically could go off and be a complete MVP for the postseason. So why the heck wouldn't we get him? The money's still a little bit crazy, but I think overall he works better for the team. After that, I feel like we do need one more guy for the bullpen, and then we should be chilling. And I think we're going to go ahead and dip into our massive amount of prospects to try to get this one done. And there we go from the Blue Jays, ironically, Jordan Romano. We are going to need to do a super tiny salary dump after this, but Jordan Romano in this entire bullpen is going to be disgusting. Again, from the Blue Jays, is it really that realistic? Probably not, but still. It's something that realistically has to be done, so we're doing it. If we take a look one more time at the lineups, we got Cedric Mullins, we got Nick, we got Jesse Winker, we got Kyle Schwarber, Tim Anderson, Adley, Mountcastle, Nimmo, and then Max Muncy over at short. Maybe we do need like a Willie Adamas type shortstop. Just a takeover for a a little bit. Oh my God. Again, this might be the time we actually just get a stud. Remember when I was saying we're going to use Max Muncy for a trade? This might be the perfect time. Look at the trade value that we have just on him alone. So this might be the time we got to go crazy. All right. I think I know it can get this done. Colton Kalser has not done all that great with us. I know he's a stud, but if he can get a CJ Abrams, oh my God, I'm down. And not even him can get it done. Holy crap. All right. Diaz. There we are. Beautiful. Okay. Now we got CJ Abrams as our starting shortstop. 23 years old and 85 overall. And he just wasn't being used because Tatis is there. There's realistically nothing else I want to do. Phillies, what do you want? Absolutely no. Let's go straight to the postseason and try to run this thing to the World Series. Come on. Again, last week of the season coming up right now, we finish off 95 and 67 and take our division once again. This time finishing off the number one seed in the entire American League. Taking on the winners of the wild card game and let's take a look real quick at what type of awards we possibly got right now. We got the Cy Young as John Means and then that's pretty much it. John Means, you freaking cold-blooded killer, baby. All right, here we go. LDS time versus the Toronto Blue Jays, of course. All right, here we are. Frankie, game one versus Jose Barrios. Lost how 
down by two. Oh man. Who actually lost that one for us? It was Frankie. He just did terrible. All right. Next up, Joe Musgrove versus Kevin. Won that one. Beautiful. Tied it back up. John Means versus Alec Manoa. This is big. Won that one as well by one. Holy crap. Okay. Grayson Rodriguez versus Alex Wood. Won that one, baby. All right, perfect. Take it on the Guardians now in the ALCS. Frankie going back up for game one again. Come on, baby. Lost that one again by five. Jesus, Frankie, letting me down a little bit. Joe Musgrove versus Zach. Please, Zach. Won that one. Tied it back up one to one. John Means versus Cal. Okay, two to one. Grayson Rodriguez versus Aaron Savali. Okay, 3-1. Frankie going up again versus Tristan McKenzie. Oh my God, baby. All right, there we go. 2024 World Series. We're facing the Dodgers. Come on. As if realistically, it couldn't get harder. All right, who the heck's doing good? Cedric's doing amazing. Nick, not so much. Jesse Winker killing it. Kyle Schwarber. There we go. Tim Anderson. All right, we'll take it. Adley. Oh my God. Trey Mancini. Nope. Mountcastle. You got to go in. CJ Abrams, by the way. So happy I got this dude. And then Brendan Nimmo. We need somebody that kind of sucks. It's fine. All right, here we go. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't freaking out. All right, Frankie Montez versus Walker Buehler. Game one. Won that one. That's a good start. Joe Musgrove versus Jack Flaherty. Why do they have Jack? And we lost that one. Come on. John Means versus Trevor Bauer for game two. Or game three. Sorry. Won that one. We're good. Up 2-1 now. Grayson Rodriguez. Please, dude. Oh, my God. 2-2. Two, two. Frankie going up again for Zach Eflin. Why? Won that one. And then 3-2. Joe Musgrove versus Walker Bueller. Back home in Baltimore. We got to win this one, please. Let's get it going. Akil Badu, CT3, Freddie Freeman, Mookie Betts. They got a pretty stacked up team. I'm not going to lie. But Joe Musgrove, I need you to go off. And I need the boys right here to go off against Walker Bueller, too. Cedric Mullins already leading it off with a walk. Fly out, Jesse Winker. Fly out, and then Kyle Schwarber. Jesus, three straight flyouts. All right, Musgrove. That's a double to Brian Anderson. Oh, don't let him score. And of course, they let him score. That's two guys that score. That's fine, though. It's only two. But the problem is, there we go, CJ. Never mind. There's no problem. We tie back up. Two guys on, and Nick Madrigal for a ground out. Now, please just hold everybody back. That is all we need. God dang it, bro. A two run homer. All right, we got to take him out. Julio Lopez, get in there. And guys, we desperately got to come back. We at least got to get him to the bullpen. That's all. So please, guys, hit off a of Walker Bueller or not. And oh my God, I am. Okay, there we go. Drew Pomeranz in here now. Of course, the team that we send Drew to is the team that we're facing in the World Series. All right, Nick, walk. There we go. Two guys on. Jesse Winker, though, versus a lefty is not a good thing. And we get one, but unfortunately, that's not enough to tie it. All right, top nine. Julio going back up. Ground out, fly out. There we are. We got to score two. Versus Gratterall. Come on. Adley. Never mind. Versus Alex Vestia. All right, Adley. Strike out. 0 for 4. Ryan Mountcastle. Strike out. Oh, my God. CJ. Oh, come on. We're going to game seven, and we got John Means going up for us. We're still back in Baltimore. We need to take this so desperately. I cannot, with a good conscience, let us lose right here. I need Tim Anderson to wake up in this World Series. I need Kyle Schwarber as well to wake up. We just need a couple more home runs. That's realistically it. So, John Means, here we go. You're at home. I need us to do something big. Run us in the corners right here. Kyle Schwarber. Field his choice. All right, Tim Anderson. How do we not score there? Literally how? All right, come on. Two guys on already. CJ, walk. That's bases juice. Brandon Nemo, no outs. This is huge. That's a walk. We'll take it. Cedric, there we are. Two run score. 3 0. Nick Madrigal, sack fly. That's fine. 4 0. Jesse, fly out. Kyle Schwarber, walk. Tim. All right, that's still four. We'll take that easily every single day of the week. And he got out of it. Thank God. Keep the game going. Brennan Nimmo with the triple. And there we go, Cedric. That's another one for five. Tim with the double. Adley with the walk. Mountcastle. Strike out CJ. Fielder's choice. Yo, that's two straight walks. Bobby Miller's freaking out right now. Nick Madrigal. Fielder's choice. That's fine. Jesse Winker. Fly out. And then Kyle Schwarber. There we are. That's a double. Tim Anderson. Okay, that's fine. We still got six. John Means just keep motoring through this thing, baby. That's two straight singles as well off of Bobby Miller. CJ, double. That's why we got my boy CJ right there. The dude's so freaking solid. It's nine nothing right now. Make that 10 nothing. John Means, keep this thing trucking, dude. This is our time right here to bring a World Series championship back to Baltimore for the first time in a long, long time. And to do it in 2024 when nobody, nobody ever thought we'd be able to do it. John Means versus Will Smith. Let's go ahead and get him to look stupid right here. Let's get all these boys a ring. They deserve it. 1-1 one, one in the count. Adley calling for a nice little pitch down low and outside. Let's go. And right to Madrigal. That's it. That's it, baby. In front of 45,000 screaming Baltimore Orioles fans. We do it, dude. We freaking do it. A complete game shutout, by the way, out of John Means. That's what we paid the guy. That's what I'm talking about. And coach, I appreciate all the help that you gave me. Dodgers, get out of here. You're not welcome no more. Awards, we got Cedric Mullins as the World Series MVP and Jesse Winker as the playoff MVP. A lot better than Austin Hayes. I'll take you guys that right now. That's why I got him. <laughs>